Well, first of all, thank you for the opportunity to be here. Uh, and I also recognize that we are here for, at a very sad time uh, in Turkey. We know that the nation has been through intolerably difficult circumstances. And I know that athletics is very pleased to be here uh, in such difficult times. We hope providing a little bit of help and support and, and maybe some inspiration as well. But we recognize these championships take place at an extraordinarily difficult time. But nonetheless, they are very, very good championships. The performances yesterday, uh, even, even not discussing the uh, records, were of a very, very high standard. And I think the next, tonight and tomorrow, when we get into what I call the business end of the uh, championships, I think those finals will be extraordinary. To have a world record is unusual. World records are not common. We're not swimming. We have, you know, it's, it, world records are not easily come by. Uh, and this was a particularly, uh, particularly good record. Uh, and in fact, I sat last night with the Ukrainian athlete who, who held the record. Uh, Look, as you say, uh, 47 member federation uh, uh, participate uh, here. We have two member who is they under uh, sanction. It's Russia and uh, Belarus, and uh, but the, and also two 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 federation is not participate uh, participate. But it is not because of the earthquake. It's not because of this. It means they are not affected to the participant of the country, and also. European athletics and uh, European member federation, we decided to give a sign of hope that if we are here, it's better than to stay at home and to be here. I think this is supported uh, uh, our Turkish friends from Turkish federation and LOC who really give a, a great job. And this, this, we don't want that this great job disappeared if, uh, if this uh, championship was not happened.